Hey, what's up, my little tiny house? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kim, Chloe, and Courtney, the girls are funny. Y'all, what am I talking about? We all know that Chloe took, sorry, Courtney took a step way back from the family. She said she just got cool with Chloe again. And if you know how weird that is, they used to be super tight, but she still doesn't mess with Kim. Her and Kim have been taking shots at each other back and forth. Chloe, I'm sorry, Courtney just put up this Instagram post that was low key dragging Kim, but all the Kardashians talking about your family or the friends. We're going to read that in a second. But do you know that Kim is out here meeting up and filming with Scott herself when Courtney has been screaming for months that she felt so disrespected that the family is still tight with Scott, still filming and still letting him cause wreckage because the only thing Scott wants to talk about is the hate on her love with Travis. And she's like, I've waited so long for this. Why can't y'all just let me have my fairy tale and let me be happy? Baby, Kim said, I'll raise you your happiness. And if nobody else in the family wants to film with Scott, I'm going to film with Scott. Y'all, we got details on that. But also, remember when I said that Kim was a low-key hater? Go look at my other video about the CDAF awards where Chloe came and shut everything down. She was wearing a bronze dress like Laquan Smith, had her hair in a tight ponytail bun. She Listen, I will say one thing about Chloe. Romantically, she ain't never gonna shut things down. Not this year, right? You got two moms and you plan on spending the rest of them with Tristan. But I will say that style-wise, Chloe has been on top of her game. True always dressed super cute, but Chloe has been giving look after look after look. Well, it looks like Kim didn't forget that because Kim decided to show up at the CDAF Awards in that latex glad trash bag, just looking, just ugh, like dehydrated broccoli. She kicked Chloe's train out of the way on the carpet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the video. We have her hating on Chloe. It looks like this time Kim took a page out of Chloe's book and tried to dress in the same style she is, even down to Chloe's nails. Of course, Kim failed horrendously because Kim does not have good style sense. She can sit there and be like, well, Kanye dress me. Whoever picked out this pink monstrosity you wore to the baby to baby award needs to be thrown in jail. But look at this dress, right? Let's pull these pictures up because I've got to show y'all this mess. First of all, this is the dress on the runway. It already looks a hot mess. It looks like Fashion Nova's finest, right? We have to have a talk about, um, honestly, Balenciaga. Not now, because we busy dragging. But we literally do have to have a talk about uh, Balenciaga. And how, with Kanye's whatever, has literally been recycling fits and looks from Fashion Nova from four years ago. Y'all can pay. I, and listen, it's designer. Who knows how much this dress costs. But whatever it is, girl, please. This looks like Cinderella before her fairy godmother got involved. And you know Kim looks like it's stupid. No, looks as stupid because she's taking pictures from the side. Again, look at this mess. Look at Kim. I don't understand why Kim loves this blonde so much. Listen, to each their own. I just don't understand this whole skinny blonde Kim. I guess to her, that's what money looks like. That's what success looks like. Kim looks so old she looks so when i say old i don't mean old like 80 years old she looks harsh she looks like life has left the joy out of her body you know like the reason people literally always are like talking about the look of youth because you look like fun like you're having fun like you eat like you enjoy like you laugh Kim just looks so harsh and severe like like 80 years old like you had a hard life and there's no more joy left but anyway, she's sitting here with this Barbie pink monstrosity. I think she's trying to take on the whole Laquan Smith because Chloe's dress was such a success. And I know what you're saying. No, oh, of course. Yeah, it is. It's basically the same style dress. The only thing is Kim doesn't have any fashion sense. This is the woman that let her mentally unstable husband who was divorced from reality at that time. We didn't know at that time. But Kim knew it. You were still using him for looks. And he told you to dress up like a Muppet. 
in hell with the flames coming up your red skirt the skirt and you literally in 90 degree california weather was wearing that mask thought you shut things down and be like but the real tea is kanye is the one that gave it to me anyway so i say all this to say kim doesn't know she just weird she doesn't have good style instincts chloe has good style instincts courtney has a then mm, kylie has good style instincts Kendall too, but Kendall just has like a different style, right? She has like the off-duty model style, but still, look at this mess. The bows, the ties, the spandex, the stupid pink with shoes which are attached to those stupid pink Sphinx. Anybody, anybody that is sitting here still rocking Balenciaga unironically you deserve what you get look at this it even has the same train that chloe's outfit had she is literally it's probably like chloe wasn't embarrassed i mean wasn't invited she is literally trying to steal chloe's thunder even down to this look at this look at her nails do you notice anything with her nails kim is notorious notorious for not liking long nails look at this mess that somebody said somebody said that chloe strap her down for these she's even wearing chloe's patented stiletto dragon nails right which again they look cute it's a look but you know that's not even kim style kim literally saw chloe's success looking like a bronze dream i know we should have known she was back with tristan she got the dark hair. She got 18 pounds of bronzer on. She's trying to look like a light-skinned black woman, but she looked really good. Her and Laquan Smith were the moment. Chloe's been killing it when it comes to dressing. Kim copied the whole spirit of that dress down to the nails and still got it wrong. Even she even posted Kim Kardashian. She even posted this uh, message with Chloe saying, Kim, your nails are fire too. Keep them for a second. Kim put their press on. Chloe put, ha ha. Kim is such a copy and paste glamour. There's nothing original to it, which makes me think this Kim really have a real personality because I'm being serious. You have all that money to access stylists, this and that. All you need is an inherent look of what you think looks good or not. I guess it's too much for Kim. Anyway, we saw how she literally tried to steal Chloe's style and fell miserably and probably didn't invite Chloe to the baby to baby charity because we would have been reminded, wait a second, isn't that Chloe's style down to her nails? You know Kim can be the only one for attention. Speaking of which, one good thing that did come from the baby a baby charity, um, baby to baby charity, Puffy and a whole bunch of people actually performed. They raised $12 million to help in need children, which is fantastic. They raise that much every year, but it's nice that the Kardashians did come together for something, but I think this is one of Kim's uh, close family friends they did it. But you know what? 12 million is 12 million. That was a lot of money raised. Now let's talk about what's going on with Courtney, baby. Courtney posted this on Instagram. This is actually really, really funny to me. Courtney posted this on, hold on guys. Let's get this up on Instagram on the Summoner and Screens. So Chloe posted this, sorry, Courtney posted this on Instagram. She was reminiscing about her wedding. I loved her wedding. I really honestly did. I thought it was a Southern California dream wedding. I saw all the influences. It was beautiful. She said in Milan, Italy, on the recent episode of Kardashians where we were so beautifully welcomed by Dolce & Gabbana for my wedding dress fitting. This was my very first time seeing my dress in person and I got to try it on for all of my friends. A moment I'll never forget. Domenico Dolce transformed this dress with his hands and teeth. Now I know what you're saying. Dolce & Gabbana said, yes, they're problematic, but let's just actually get into what he's saying. Everybody swore back then when I was one of the only people saying, yo, there's really something wrong with what's going on with the Kardashians. Courtney seems to be pulling away from everyone and everyone else is being ignorant. Y'all guys, you're like, you don't understand when you go to Justice of Peace because COVID, you can only have two people. I said, okay, but where was the after party? How come nobody came and actually celebrated afterwards except for Travis, his friends and kids? At the actual wedding, the Kardashians showed up 
took photos. They didn't even stay for Courtney's whole reception, right? Kim was throwing shots. She tried to ruin the reception dinner, all this other stuff. Everybody said, ah, da, 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 da. Courtney has come out and said, I'm not close to Kim right now. Me and Chloe are kind of cool, but you know, I'm just taking a step back from my family. The fact that it was her fitting, it was filmed for the show. So it could have been combined as work and not one person from Courtney's family came to show her support, came to go to the fittings, came to see, not one person, what's Chloe's excuse? Chloe, all you have going on is keeping up with the Kardashians and a good American drop that happens once every three months. Kim, what were you doing? You were just in Italy. You remember you went over to keep um, Kindle uh, company? You could have stayed. Chris, you could have flown in and out. You could have. It was your daughter's wedding dress set. The only person that really had an excuse was Kylie because she was heavily pregnant. And of course, Kendall because she was probably working. But the fact that Courtney underlined the fact that one of that it was only her friends that were there for such a beautiful occasion underlined things. Well, guess what? Kim didn't take that lying down. After that story broke, woo! Well, Kim met up with Scott for lunch. And guess what? Um, the Kardashian cameras were filming. Well, why is that so important? Because Chloe, Courtney has said that she really felt like what the producers did and by producers, right? And by producers, what does that sound? By producers, we need Kim and, I'm sorry, Kim, and uh, Chris, who are the most powerful producers outside of Hulu producers, literally ignoring the fact that she wanted her fairy tale. And they kept putting her in situations where Scott could blow up, where she felt uncomfortable, or where her fairy tale kept having that underwritten note of negativity, toxicity. Because again, Courtney and Scott carried the Kardashians for years. And I'm sure Courtney's just like, what the hell? I'm done carrying you people. Well, guess what? And you know it's real, and they wanted Courtney to know this because T M Z said Scott was out with Kim. Cameras close behind. Scott's doing something we rarely see anymore: spending some one-on-one -on -one time with Kim Kardashian as cameras for the family's reality show trout close behind. Scott and Kim had a late-night dinner together in Woodland Hills, and you can imagine, we can imagine that they caught up on latest family drama, Courtney's marriage, Travis Barker. Again. Again, you guys can just see this as whatever. I look at this as Kim literally trying to get under Courtney's skin and saying shots fired. She already said how she felt about that man. She already said that she didn't think, and that's another thing, it's not really helpful even for Scott's sobriety to be around that. Courtney just wants her peace. Kim does not seem to be able to do that. And it seems like she is literally befriending, just like much like Kim is befriending everybody that can't stand Kanye. It looks like she is befriending everybody that is hating on Courtney's happiness. Anyway, my little title tells, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.